Hello, welcome to another edition of Jungle Buster. My name is James Chu. I'm the Head of Market and Investments at Raycap. Previously, we discussed a risk measure called volatility. If you look at the video again, you could get a little bit more about what I meant by volatility, which is a statistical measure on how volatile or how far the price will swing for a particular investment. I mentioned also last time that this measure of volatility or risk should relate to your potential return. One of the measures that a lot of professional investors use and I'd like to introduce here is called risk adjusted return. When you look at a fund, often a lot of the investors look at the performance. Some funds perform really well and may be returning 20 to 30 percent per annum. Have you looked at how much risk you have to take to get this? Therefore, a lot of professional investors and analysts use this measure, risk adjusted return, to look at whether that investment is compensating for the risk I'm taking. So for instance, let's look at those two examples again, a fund producing 20% return and a fund producing 30% return. If you look at the volatility of each fund, let's say the first one has a volatility of 10%, you divide the return with the volatility. 20 divided by 10, you come up with a risk adjusted return or risk to return ratio of 2. You could do the same, but let's say you have 30% annual return but your volatility is 30%. The ratio, the risk adjusted return or the risk to volatility is 1. Which one is the better investment? Clearly the former one, because it has a higher risk adjusted return. In other words, I take lower risk to get a higher return. These are the type of investments that you should look at. When you look at the fund, when you analyze the performance, when you select it, make sure you look at the risk adjusted return simply by dividing the annual return that you got over the annual volatility. These triggers are usually available on the fact sheet of the fund. Thank you.